Once upon a time in the dark, dark forest there was a scary wolf. Just kidding. This is my distant ancestor Finn. I also have Grandma Mary, Grandpa Harry, Uncle Ginger, Auntie Liz, and Cousin Daisy. Over the years, our humans have bred us all for our different looks and characters. Let me introduce myself. Bruno, your irreplaceable friend. I am friendly and curious. I spend a lot of time with people. They usually say that I am cute, adorable, and funny. They also say I'm quirky because I make these noises. My owners have an eventful life and they usually take me with them. I always have lots of attention on the red carpets, at the fashion shows, and even on the walks in the park. Sometimes I get so tired and exhausted because I struggle to breathe. You can hear this because I snore when I'm awake. My vet says that is because I have BOAS, brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome. This means that I have breathing problems, I struggle in hot weather and I can't run and chase my ball like I want to. My vet says I have to be looked after very carefully and I might need surgery. Despite this, as I get older it may get even worse. But I don't want it. I wish that more French Bulldog parents were health tested and didn't have the looks that make them prone to Boaz. I hope that future French Bulldogs can avoid my fate and can live like normal dogs. One day I will make my dream come true, and future generations won't have to suffer like I do. The Boaz Research Group led by soft tissue specialist Jane Ladlow have been studying flat-faced dogs and their breathing intervals for over a decade. During this time, the popularity of French Bulldogs has soared. Recently, they have been competing for the top spot of the UK's most popular dog breed. And it's no wonder when they can make such cute, funny companions. However, unfortunately, these dogs can be prone to a number of health issues, in particular, their breathing. This can have an enormous impact on how they cope in everyday life. They can struggle with sleeping, exercise, when they get stressed, or in hot weather. An affected dog can get worse throughout their life, and in severe cases, it can be life-threatening. Sadly, rescue centres are seeing more and more of these dogs affected by these issues, often because the owners weren't expecting or can't cope with their complex medical needs. Working with Alina as part of Cambridge Creative Encounters, we decided to create an animation to raise awareness of the issues that these breeds can suffer from, and that there is health testing available. So if you are really wanting to get one of these dogs, make sure they have been bred responsibly or their parents have been health tested. The goal was to make a clear message informatively and visually, so we came up with the idea to make a short cartoon with one of the representatives of flat-faced dogs as a main hero. We took a French bulldog, thought about his family, features, lifestyle, and we also gave him a name. So that's basically how Bruno appeared. Everything was drawn in Adobe Illustrator. We also experimented with uh, animation flow and we also used artificial intelligence to generate Bruno's voice. When working on a storyboard, we tried different options to describe boy's symptoms and also ways of delivering the main point. That's why it seems to be a sad story, particularly for Bruno, because he won't be able to get rid of his disease, but he hopes for better for future generations. And now it's the perfect time for breeders to have their pets health tested and rescue them from Bruno's fate.